Hello guitaristas, my name is Adina and you are watching the Spanish Guitar Hub and today we are going to learn all the major and minor chords all around the neck in every different positions and it is also called the caged system and after this lesson you can learn something like this and then of course you can go forward and then it will become D major and D sharp major and E major by the way this lesson is a part of my new course which is called learn guitar chords with songs and exercises and in this course you can learn all of these shapes and the body with 14 different little songs four chord chart exercises lot of guitar lessons and exercises four famous songs and also with ear training games sign up for my course today on the link under this video and learn the chords with me in this lesson we are going to look at some basic major and minor chord shapes. We will also learn about the cage system which means that you can hold certain chords in an open position in the first three frets and after we will use or bares to hold all the other chords all around the neck. What is a chord? A chord is when you hold two or more notes together and you sound them. In this case I had E minor. So when you play major and minor chords together it just means that you play three different notes together at the same time and because you are playing it usually with all the strings on the guitar it means that some of the notes are repeating. So let's have a look, for example, an E major chord. The E major consists of three notes, which is E and B and G sharp. So some notes are repeating because this is E, B, E, G sharp, B and E. Now at first let's learn all of the major open positions which is also called the caged system. The caged system means that you can hold the C, A, G, E and D chords in the first three frets in the open position and after you can add the body and you can move them around and then they will become different chords. So let's look at the first chord, which is C major. Now we can add the body to the C major and then we can move it forward and then it will become the next note or the next chord in the sequence. So if I add the body here on the first fret and I hold the C shape, then it will become C sharp major. then of course you can go forward and then it will become D major and D sharp major and E major and F major. If you are enjoying what you are learning so far please hit the like button because it will help the video to rank and other people can find it easier too. I actually quite prefer to play this F major than this F major because this is kind of sounds a tiny bit softer. Although they both consist of the same notes, they sound a tiny tiny bit different. Now let's have a look at the next shape which will be A. In this case you can hold a major and a minor chord as well in the first three frets so it is A major or A minor. This is one of the most common ways to hold the body because um, the most common ways to hold the body is either the A shape or the E shape and this is also called the A shape when you hold somewhere for example 
this is D minor in A shape because you have the same shape like you would hold it in the first three frets. But then this is A minor. And then you move it forward, you add the barre, and then it will become D minor. Again, the same rules apply here as well. The first chord will be A, and if you move it forward, you will get to a different chord holding a barre, and this will become a B flat major. Or B, and so on, you can move forward. Some people hold this shape differently. They try to hold it, for example, with only with one finger uh, or, or two fingers, but I think it is just like a really, a lot of um, uh, tension you need to build up and a lot of strength to be able to hold this chord like that. So the best is to be curved with all of your fingers, so it means middle ring, little finger, and then you have like a straight barre with your index finger. You can be the most clean this way. We have the G shape, and in this case it is just a major chord, G major. Sometimes you can hold G major like this as well. Um, this is not really used specially in classical guitar, maybe sometimes in electric guitar they are used it, but uh, definitely not in classical guitar because it would be like a really awkward position. It will be something like that. It would be very difficult to hold it clean. The next shape will be the E shape, which will be in major and also in minor. Now this is the most popular shape and this is probably the first one that you will learn as a barre chord because the F major is in so many songs and then when you are holding the F major you try to hold it here so then this is the E shape you, you are just like pushing it forward to one chord and uh, that's why it became uh, F major. Now let's have a look at the next shape, which is the D. From the D you have the major and the minor as well. So this is D major and this is D minor. Now this shape is not uh, quite popular with the barre. Sometimes it is actually used um, in some classical songs, but uh, in most cases it is not really used with the barre. But it is quite nice when you are actually harmonizing something. For example, you can harmonize the A minor with the A minor here. So this is the D minor shape, but it's A minor um, chord. This shape doesn't appear so many times in the barre, although sometimes in some classical song it appears. For example, in Caprico Arabe from Francisco Tarrega, it uh, comes up, this kind of shape with a barre, but uh, most of the time it is not appearing. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, hit the like button or subscribe for more videos like this because I'm uploading new guitar videos every Sunday. So see you guys next Sunday with another guitar video.